Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Tucson police are searching for a man after an indecent exposure incident on June 18th. Police say the man was caught on security footage here exposing himself to people at a home on Drachman Street. Anyone with information about this or the identity of the man is asked to call 88 Crime. Pima County Board of Supervisors have voted to rescind the COVID-19 emergency proclamation. The proclamation passed last March in an effort to slow the spread of COVID. It required face coverings in public along with other safety measures. The face covering portion was rescinded earlier in May. A heads up for folks in search of work. This week, the University of Arizona is holding two job fairs. The first is from noon to five today. The next one will be on Saturday from eight till noon. Both will be held in the student union ballroom. The U of A is hoping to fill full-time staff positions. Happening today, Fry's Food Stores are showing appreciation for educators throughout our state. Every Wednesday from now through September 8th, teachers are able to get a 10% discount on supplies, toys, games, housewares, and more at any Fry's location in Arizona. Shoppers will also be able to donate supplies at Fry's locations. For the seventh straight year, the Arizona Wildcats are represented in the NBA Finals. This time, that ex-cat plays for the Phoenix Suns. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns defeating the Milwaukee Bucks in Game 1 in Phoenix last night. Final score was 118 to 105, with the Suns now taking a 1-0 lead in the best of seven series. Let's take a look at your forecast now. A drying trend will continue to limit thunderstorms the rest of the week. As this happens, highs will climb several degrees. Cooler air and another surge in moisture is expected to return early next week.